This show is brought to you by such patrons as Despicable Dogs, Benjamin, Dharma Wheelies, Milkbox, It's Leon Motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Oh man, woman, child. Hello? Oh, Hi, you got any rooms? Uh, we're, we're full tonight, sir. Uh, who's oh. empty? Oh. Pardon? Who's empty? Oh, oh. Did you uh. try the country in? Oh, yeah, I tried the country. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. What about the best western? Oh, they kicked us out. They said we were too gay. Okay. Me and my husband are gay. Well, I wish I could help you, but uh, we have a full you, house. Okay. Can you hear me correctly? Do you guys accept gay? Okay. Oh, Hello. Oh, this is my country. Yeah, how can I help you? My, um, my husband has asthma. What is your guys' policy on breathing? What do you mean by that? Well, my husband breathes really loud when we sleep. He breathes so loud. I mean, we really, that I've, I've never been asked a question like that. So I don't, I mean, we don't really have a policy for something like that. Sometimes it disturbs the guest, the other guests. Thank you for choosing Thursday Plus. This is Mary. How can I help you? Yes, uh, me and my boyfriend were there. Hello? Can you listening or no? I can hear you. Hello? Okay. Hello? Listen. Hello? Listen to me. God damn it, man. Are you going to say something? Hello? Yes. Well, I was trying to tell you, me and my husband, we were there the other day, and I fucked the pillow by accident. I wanted to fuck his ass, but it not the pillow. It not the pillow. Thank you for choosing me, sure. Stay plus. This, this is Mary. How can I help you? This this town is just one big pussy waiting to get fucked. Um, I've got your phone number, and I'm turning it over to the police. 209-213-6269. Whoa! Oh, my resort. This is Jonathan. Can I help you? <laughs> Jonathan, my balls ache. Oh, he's you fucking me. Light. He's fucking me. Oh. Hi, breastfeed me. I'm looking for bre- I'm looking for breastfeeding. Hello. This is the motto. My system. brother had. Yeah, I'm looking for Indian breastfeeding. To make Pollock paneer. Oh, hello. How are you doing tonight? Good. Oh, good. Do you have any any rooms available? No, we're all sold out. Oh. Oh. Do you know anyone that's open? Huh? Anyone that has, do you know, like, they have a hole to go? No, I hole. don't. Oh. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Have a good oh. night. Oh. 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 Oh, hello. We're out here. Is it 7-Eleven? Hello? Ma'am. Yeah? What's your safe word? Are, are you safe right now? I'm, yeah. I'm a professional security guard. 
And oh, yeah? I, I'm going to be there in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to come do an 8-hour shift for you. And if you like my services, I will uh you know, I'll work out a contract with your boss, but uh I need to establish a safe word with you. So so I know that you're safe. Okay. So what kind of safe word? So what 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 would you, I'm sorry, I was asking you which one would you like? Like like Nebraska? I'm asking you what is your favorite safe word? Because I'm Oh rough. pineapple juice. Two words. Oh actually my, my my favorite safe words are keep going. But that that's neither here nor there. So what 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 is your what what's your safe word gonna be, ma'am? I don't have a safe word because I don't have to use the safe word. Well, I'm I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be giving ocular pat downs in your in your parking lot, okay? And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna like give you a thumbs up as like I let people in the in the door. And I just need to know like if so if you're in danger, I need to know like you you just say one word if a guy's like acting shady. Um, just what 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 word would that be? Listen, honey, I think you have the wrong store. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm fairly. Sure. I'm gonna be there in like 20 minutes. You'll see me come up in my duster, and I'll have like my goggles on, and I'll just I'll stand outside. I'll stand outside, and I'll be smoking cigarettes, my Virginia Slims, and uh, I'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and, and you know, if I do a good job, and you tell your boss about me, maybe we could form a contract. I can start being your professional security guard. You know, every you know every few days. I could just let people in the store and, uh, yeah, give them ocular pat-downs, assess the threats, use the safety words, all that jazz. But I already have personal security. Where? Who? Who? who Randy? You think Randy is a personal security guard? That guy's a hobo. Why? He's a homeless guy. Huh? So, yeah, I'll, I'll be there in 20 minutes, all right? I'm on my way. Okay, you be here in 20 minutes. You'll meet my personal security guard at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, are, are you threatening me? Uh, like, that's, that's that's crazy, man. Oh, no, I'm not threatening. Let's, nope. let's, let's, let's cool this down. Let, let's let's try to calm this down, okay? Let's, let's calm this situation, okay? Because, like, I'll, I'll, give your, I'll give your security guard an ocular pat down, and we'll see, you know, worst comes to worst. We'll break out a six pack of bush light and uh we'll we'll wrestle and see who the better man is. My husband can't and then, and then who whoever wins whoever wins gets to be your personal security guard. My husband's a Florida City officer. Oh. So uh Okay. So <laughs> is mine. Time. My husband's an officer too. Oh your husband is too? An officer of love. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I love you. Now hang up the phone, ma'am. Hang I it up. up. I'll see you in 20 minutes, okay? All right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. I'll be there. All the right. bell's on. All right. All right. No, you. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the security guard. Yeah. What's on me, Shaw? Can I help you? Hi, how are you? All right. What do you do there? What would you say you do here? Hello, hello. Hi, what would you how say? are you, Ben Hello, please. Hello? Hello, hi. What do you do there? What yeah. do you do? What do you want, sir? I want food, fucker. Fuck, ha- fuck asshole. <laughs> Thank you for calling Nancy's Hustle. Hello? Uh, Nancy's Hustle? Yeah. Just call us the asshole? I'm sorry? This is Nancy's hustle? Yes, this is Nancy's Where's hustle. Where's Nancy? Put I... Nancy on the phone. Is Nancy there? Is, is, there, is there any room? Mr. Grant, is Joe. Hi. Hello. Hey. 
Um, I was wondering when we're going out uh, in the morning in the ATV. I yeah, signed up at the front desk. No, you got the wrong number. Well, Marty Moose said that I could go on the rides in the morning, so. We don't do that here. I think you've got the wrong phone number. Look, I traveled a long ways to experience this, and Marty Moose owes me. He owes all of us a great experience. What are you talking about? I, look, I came here with the family a long ways in the station wagon. Um, you know, have you ever been in the car with the family for a long time and that smell in the back seat? Like, I've had to endure that to make it out here. And now you're telling me Marty Moose is not going to take me on a ride. Who is Marty yeah, Moose? The Rambler wagon. He's the, he's the mascot of the place. He says, hi, folks. Welcome to the Moose Lodge, or whatever the fuck this place is. Uh, can I ask who's calling? Yeah, this is Jack. Who? Jack. Jack what? Stevens. Stevens. Oh, awesome. And are you... Jack. And are you... Yeah, that's my colleague and and uh, personal life coach. I'm a personal milker. Okay. Um, cool. I told you because we're we're expecting an experience from Marty Moose. We're staying here at the lodge. We signed up. Where, where are you staying? What unit? Two fifteen. Ah, uh, yeah, you definitely got the wrong place. Is, is he not going to let us use the ATVs, honey? Fuck you, asshole. No, I think this was a bait and switch. I think this is really just uh, one of those like, like fake towns where they reenact like we, uh, stuff from times past. Like this is like a Brokeback Mountain reenactment place or something. We drove th yeah. for three days. Yeah, that's that's where we are. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like, like that one song. What, what's that called? Ram something. Yeah, Ram Ranch. Oh. So, you, so you've yeah, heard of the song. Okay. Yeah, then you, then is you that, got so the right is that place. about your place? Yeah, yeah that's us. That's, that's about you. Oh, man. Honey, we we have to go now. You what about the come boots? Here, man. Oh, we got so many boots. What's the plural of moose? Me, gays. No, those are mice. No, we got meat See, out here. I don't, I don't think I can do business with you. You don't know your Meats. grammar. Meats. So I got your phone number here, and so I can track you guys. Yeah. So I appreciate yeah. your business. Oh, and, no, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. All right, well, I have your phone number, too, so we're going to track you as well. So <laughs> good, 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 good job. job. Ready? Two, two, seven, three, three. Three. two, seven, three, three. Don't tell mom. Uh, don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Don't tell no, I'm in room that's 215, our, and I sell 420 That's our address, 2733 East 10,800 South. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I blocked my number before I called. No, nah, you didn't. I got it. Call her right Yeah, yeah we'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there tomorrow. The bell's on. All right. I'll bring the assless chaps. You're on. You're on. You're on. We'll be there. 9 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, I'll bring the Vaseline, all right? I'll bring the Vaseline. You I called ready. you with a calling card from the 1990s. Yeah, well, just bring two tubs of Vaseline, and we'll be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're talking our love language. Yes, yes. We yes. Yeah, the guy, the old guy. Thank uh, you for calling Martosa Sun Seeker. This is trousers. Scott. Can you help me help you? Hi, there was a man walking by. He said he had lava in his trousers and that he was dispensing it into the vents. Okay, what room are you in? Well, I'm not staying here. I'm just visiting a friend. But he was walking by and he had liquid hot magma in his hands. At least it looked like it was liquid lava. Okay, I don't see anyone on the cameras. 
Oh, he said he worked for you. He had his name was Moulton Johnson. <laughs> loud noises every couple minutes. Thanks for calling Hotel Lyrics. How may I help you? Oh, hi. There's a lot of loud noises coming from the room next door. There was like a lady that was yelling, and then there was a man who was grunting, and then he was playing music. Okay, what's your That's room? Is this normal? Here, I'll hold it up to the wall. What's your room number? Sorry, I don't, hold on. You have to listen. So, uh, please help me with your room number, sir. In which room you are staying? Hey, well, well. Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Uh. Hello. Uh. Anger. Hi, we have pent up anger. We're trying to release anger in the room. There's, what hotel there's a, room do we have you in? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. I, my glasses, they broke, and I've been trying to fix them with anger and glue. And so far, I can't. I don't know where I am. Uh, and my brother, he had the key. He went out for for beer and smokes and possibly other things, but I don't know. Because he has been gone for a couple hours now, and I haven't heard from him, and I don't have my cell phone working. I'm calling on the room phone. Um, it doesn't look like I you're calling find. on the room phone. Oh, uh, what's this then? Oh, that I'm is my so sorry. phone. Is there a is there a last name on the reservation that I can help you with? Yeah, it's Johnson. And have you washed your Johnson today? The famous vibrator company. <laughs> Annie, how can I help you today? Good evening. Thank you for calling the residence in by Marriott in Idaho Falls. This is Amber. How may I help you? Is Amber? Yes. Oh, wow. Hello? Hi. Yeah, we need a room booking. I'm here in a station wagon with my whole entire family. Okay. Talk, talk. She's on the phone. Hello? Daddy, when are we going to the hotel? I don't know. Uh, That's do you have my dad. Room? Do you have room for a family of eight? I I don't need two and a half years old. Hello? I'm sorry, my kids took a, they're taking my phone away and ask if they have Fortnite at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Here, I have to drive the car. You guys just take care of the booking, okay? They're old enough to figure this out. Come on, just take the phone. <laughs> There you go. Ma'am, what's your what's your uh, hide and seek policy? Hide we're we're avid policy. hide and seekers. Yeah, avid and hide we may and come seekers? into the lobby. Oh, yes, we, we lobby. have like a competition. <laughs> yeah, okay, so so you may no. see me like rolling around and like a, you know hiding behind the plant and stuff and just oh we don't have just any try to pretend not lobby, to see me. So. Okay. When my dad well, comes and looks so for I me, can can you like? <laughs> Point the other way. Point the other way. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're, yeah, I, I you get it. You, 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 you play hide yeah, and seek, don't you? <laughs> I have will, will, you, will you play hide and seek with me? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, are you but, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to hide <laughs> under the desk, and my dad, so like, don't let him know. So okay. I'm covering his well, ears with my hands him. while you he drives. You just told him. You just told him. Well, I'm covering my hands. With, I'm covering his ears with my hands, so he can't. He but can't that's hear not me. safe if he's driving. <laughs> yeah, see, he's like focused on the road, so he he doesn't even. Dad, dad, yeah, see, see, he doesn't even hear me. Can I put you on a brief hold, real quick, while I answer this other line? Sure, sure, sure. sure. I said okay, thank you. Please stay on the line. All right. With you momentarily. They, you can feel free to that up. When they come back, ask if I'm severely, or ask if they have any amenities for the severely autistic child. I feel like she's invested into this now. Yes, she yeah. is. This is Amber. <laughs> hey, Amber. Hi. So, so, um, how how high up is your building? Like, I, I just oh, have a couple have, more questions for you. We have five floors. Okay, and like, okay, okay, okay. So if we rent a room on the fifth floor and I hawk a loogie out the window, <laughs> you know, w- would that have enough force to kill a man? 
Because my my my, it my little brother, he is. <laughs> oh oh, so, so so it can at least you know injure or maim. <laughs> it the might person, it might or? be able to maim. It may it depends on the you know how old the person is if they're elderly, and how feeble they are. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> okay, and also like my my younger brother, he's 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 really big into that TikTok stuff, you know. And I, I think he was thinking about doing this TikTok challenge where you, you know, you, you you press the button in the elevator to make the elevator stop. And then you, you like, you know, you go live and you try to see how long you can you can go live for before they like, you know, get pissed off and, you know, try to use the elevator. Uh, would would he be able to do that or would y'all like have well, an issue? I don't have I don't have you know, I don't like, have anything. Y'all have to do multiple with the elevator elevators? Stuff? I, I work with the front desk. I think he's got like <laughs> five thousand. He's got like five thousand followers on on like oh. TikTok. Well, if he like, does something he, like that, know, he, he might have five thousand and one. I'm just saying. <laughs> just... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like you. You, you got a little. You, you got some spunk to you. You, you got some spunk. To you. Are you having a good night <laughs> a tonight? I am. I am. Are you? Good. Good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm ha- I'm having a great night. Uh, okay. Let me let me let me give you to my brother. I think he's got a few more questions. I think one of my other brothers has a few questions for you as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Donnie, Donnie, here's here's the phone, Donnie. Hi, hi. Uh, do you do you have TVs in your rooms? Hey, that's pretty standard. Yes, we do. You know, do they have? Can you connect like the HDMI's to them and? I I believe that. you probably can. Yeah. If I'm I'm on the spectrum and I I love playing Fortnite while my family out and doing stuff and neglecting me, but uh oh, so it would be good to be able to connect my switch to TV play. Would Pardon you me? would you play would you play Fortnite with my with my little brother? I think I think that's what he's getting at. He he wants to play Fortnite with you. I I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm at the front desk, but I do have other guests up at the counter. The, so the if you're gonna book a reservation, I would be well, love to ask, be able to help you. Can you ask Mom if I'd like to play Fortnite? I just want to make some friends. We'll, we'll, we'll come in and well. we'll come in and we'll 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 we'll, we'll reserve and. Uh, You'll you'll you'll, okay. you'll know when we come in there because we'll we'll, we'll okay. probably like like instantly start playing hide and seek. So okay, sounds all right. Good. Well, well, we'll see you. We'll see you in twenty minutes. Okay, oh, we'll be okay, there shortly. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye bye. All right, I love you. <laughs> no, tell us what can I do for you? Hello. Hello. Is this, the, is this the motel? Yep. What can I do for you? Um. So. I- yeah. Okay. So there, this little kid from like across the hall. Uh, do Do you know where the uh, blind spots to your cameras are? Let Let me just start there. Okay. Can I explain to you like why? Go ahead. So I, you you checked me in earlier, right? And I'm I'm in the elevator, you know, doing some of my TikTok dances, you know, and this little shit with his little skateboard comes in the elevator, and he's like, wow. A 30-year-old grown man doing TikTok dances? Pathetic. And I kid you not, he hocked a loogie at me. I had to dodge it. And then he goes, pathetic. And he gets off the elevator. And I have half a mind to beat the brakes off this little boy. You know what I'm saying? I may have some harsh words with his parents, but I feel like he needs an actual reality check. You, You see what I'm saying? So could you, like, maybe turn off the screens for a few minutes? Sure. Or like you know, like where, where are the blind spots? Like near the ice machine? Do you have a camera like over there? I, I might, I might just trap him in the ice machine. You know what I'm saying? He's got me hot. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. All right. You down? All right. Cool. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get him in like ten minutes. All right. And uh, he's gonna see what's up. You know, calling me a thirty year old man trying to hock a loogie on me, little piece of shit. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him what's up. He's gonna get a reality check. Because these hands, these hands are rated E for everyone. I don't give a shit if you're 12 years old. Or a woman. Or a dog. Yeah, these hands are rated E for everyone. 
And he's going to see what's up. All right? Hi. I love you. Love you, too. All right. Bye. I'll be down soon. I'm, I'm going to kiss you, and I'm, I'm going to beat the brakes off that boy. All right? I'll be right All there. Right. See you soon. All right. Bye. Oh, no swingers Carmelo. clubs. Hooray. Yeah, that all. Oh, man. Hi. Piper Bluffs, who is this? Oh, hi, I'm Frankie. Hello? Hi. Hey, Frankie. Good evening, Frankie. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm 48 years old, and I, I engage in swinger parties <laughs> with my, my loved ones, and my, my whole entire family actually comes with me. And we're here on the phone with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're, wow, you're, Frank. Woo. Your family, isn't that called insect, woo. Frank? Oh, no, no, no. We're not woo. related. We're, we're a, a tight-knit, okay, good. A loose <laughs> group good. of, uh, of okay. freaks. Just, just yeah. making sure. Just making sure. Uh-huh. Now, yeah. okay, how many are you in your in your gang? Oh, it's not a gang. No, no. It's, it's just a loose-knit group of like-minded people. And, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. How yeah. how many people we're talking yeah. about? Oh God, you know I don't even know. To be honest, we go we're all around the world, but we engage in the, all uh, the world? swingers. Yeah, all around the world. Mm-hmm. I like that. That sounds like that sounds yeah. like maybe maybe they have like internet party. How do you choose to like swing all around the world? I don't know because he would meet well, yeah, maybe meet up at resort. Oh, we don't get out much. Resort. We're yeah. uh-huh. we're very oh, 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 that's uh, yeah, we're very that's special. Let's see. Yeah. Can I do this like this? Mhm, mhm, mhm. So, do yeah. you all meet at resorts? Yeah, we meet at uh, the Disney resorts. Yeah. Oh my God, that's interesting. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Why that's would what you meet at Disney, Disney resort? Oh, no, there's a whole bunch of other resorts, like you know, swingers. No. Thank you for calling the Comfort Inn in Idaho Falls. This is Tony. Can you please hold? Tony, where's Chachi? Sure. I'm sorry, what? Where's Chachi? I don't know. I'm Tony, not Joni. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, can you please hold him with a guest right now? I like that. Just no one answer. Because <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> Thank you for calling the New Holiday Inn and Suites in Idaho Falls. This is Kanisha. How can I help you? Hey, Kanisha. Um, y'all, do y'all have a y'all have a bar there, right? We do. Okay. D- does your beer have any alcohol in it? Because, like, I kid you not, I've had like six. I went down there and I had like six of them, and I am just like not drunk at all. Like, um. Like I even I even drove my car around the parking lot to see, you know, how drunk I was and yeah, like perfect parallel parking and everything. Um I yeah, I even I even drank the mouthwash in my room and nothing. Like absolutely just sober as the day is long. Do do you have like a in like an emergency stash or something or um, that you keep no, like in the No, that would desk? definitely be for like a the bar question that's not really a friend ask question okay i also okay i ha- i also have like a i gotta let you know something um i was watching a lot of tiktok earlier and i saw this tiktok challenge that uh you you, you take the microwave and you put it in the bathtub and you see if it floats and i'm sorry this microwave does not float and they were liars on tiktok this is bullshit and uh should i just bring this microwave down to the front desk and y'all just give me a different one. What room I, are you in? I, I'm, I'm like scared to. I'm like scared to turn this on. I'm in the bathroom. What room are you in? And then this this this, this microwave's like full of water now, and it's super heavy, and I can't I can't get it. I can't get it out of the bathtub. Could could you like? So, I'll I'll come into the hallway. So we'll do it that know. way. I I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. I'll just I'll just put the microwave outside the door. Yeah, no, um, just so you know, Frank's calls are illegal in the state of Idaho. Really? So, can they you read are. out the state legis- legislator? 
But um, uh, I'm just letting you know about the, you the about the microwave, and really you're you're turning this prank call. This is this is bullshit. Come like, can you can you, can you do your job and like you send in? somebody up here? I'm what in three fifteen. What room are you in? You you're 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 behind the desk, right? Yeah, do your job, please. So send somebody up here. Room three. I'll have the microwave outside the door. All right, good. Um, just so please, you know, please if you do. did put the microwave in the um, tub, if you did put the microwave in the tub, we are going to have to charge you for that. Okay, how much? How much would you would you charge me for that? Ah, uh, that would like, be. A I'm, I, I feel yeah. terrible about this. That's why I'm, I'm letting you know. Yeah. So. So like two hundred, um, like I'll slip you like two hundred bucks. I'll just I'll bring. I'll bring the microwave right down. Now. Okay. All right. All right. I'll I'll see you soon. Okay. I'll I'll put the microwave. Thank you for calling the Gem Shopping Network. My name is Caleb. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Hello. Hi. Anybody? Uh, hi. I received an item I ordered. There's an issue with it. Okay, yeah, definitely call customer service Monday. Their hours are 9 a.m. No, see what happened was I like gave it to my girlfriend like as an engagement ring. And uh, she like bit on it like she was some kind of like, I don't know, like a gem person. Like she knew what she was doing. She bit on it? uh, She's like, is her mouth? She bit on it and it broke. Like it cracked, so it can't be real. And she was like, Full the rent, and then she walked away. So I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing what we happened. can do about rabbit girlfriends. I'm sorry. But what's with the jewelry you sell? It's not real. No, everything we sell is real. Really fake or? Not really real. <laughs> everything we sell is real. Hey, what's your phone number? Uh, 215. Uh huh. Yep, and the rest? That's the phone number. Just 215. What do you mean? Yeah. What's your whole phone number? He's really old. I have one of the first phone numbers. Oh, like I, okay. I got you. I got you. All right, man. Well, um, yeah, you have to talk to customer service. Uh, they're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Will somebody call my girlfriend directly and explain to her the situation or what? Um, you can get her and set up a little conference call with customer service if you no, want. No, she don't want to talk to me anymore. She says that I'm a poor because I didn't oh. give her a real, yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I mean, I oh, guess you? then you'll have to, I don't know. It's a tricky situation, to be honest. I don't know. I'm not sure what the solution would be. But I mean, she, did that. she bit down. Like, she closed one eye. She, like, put it between uh-huh. her molars and, like, closed one eye and bit down in it. It broke like a piece of candy. Didn't it break her teeth? No. She, no, she's like one of those Bond villains. She has a, a mouthful of metal. Yeah. A mouthful of metal. Braces? Yeah, she's got, she's got, no, she's got metal teeth. She's got like metal jaws. Why? Why? Why not? Yeah. It's like the new thing, did you know? Oh, just an aesthetic? Yeah, you know, people got like ice in their grill. She's got a literal grill, like it's which her teeth were oh, made she's got a from grill. the front. The, okay. Yeah, like the like the front the front of a Cadillac. They turned it into a, her teeth. Oh, they melted it down and like put Paul, it over her teeth. They melted Paul it Wall, down. Cadillac. You know. Yeah. You know oh, the guy okay. Paul Wall, the rapper. Oh yeah, it was for like sure. his his Cadillac. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it didn't. Yeah, this is my life coach. And that's phone. what broke the stone. Yeah, but that was my life oh, coach. Yeah. He monitors all my communications. Yeah. yeah, they're they're getting a divorce soon, and it's all the it's all your fault. Oh. And uh, oh, I think a girlfriend though, yeah. not not wife. His yeah, wife. Yeah, keep it well, together. It used to be wife. You know, now it's her. Yeah. Now it's his but, girlfriend. So now it's his girlfriend. Hey, don't, like, don't try don't to know. find logical inconsistencies in our stories, okay? <laughs> it's not your job. I'm just trying to grasp everything. 
he's just here to he's just here to charge me a monthly fee for bullshit advice that he doesn't follow himself. Don't give him a oh, hard time. Why, why are you still doing the service? Because that's well, what well, life hey. coaches are all about. Well, like the like, guy that's drunkly selling gems on the TV, you know? Like, he's just doing his job. Yep. You think uh, guess, he wakes up every morning, morning and jumps out of bed and it's like, oh, I want to sell some jewelry to a bunch of bored old ladies? Like, do you think he well, jumps out of bed saying every that? Morning, but yeah. How oh. many gems equals a dollar? Like, 500? We're oh, talking production really? costs. Gems. Yeah, production like, costs. Not... Depends on the gem. Like what gem are we talking yeah. here? Yeah. What gem are we talking about? So like five thousand gems equals like a dollar. So y'all make but like fifty thousand dollars commission per oh, like percentage wise. Oh, more than that. Nice. Nice. Do you do you like? Do you see the South Park episode where the old people buy the jewelry and then they, and then the people die and then they sell the jewelry to the place that melts them down and then they get made back into jewelry and then sold back to other old people Have you seen that uh, only only like a thousand times oh okay i think that's what's going on with you and hey and what's denial. that guy in the background doing like what, what's that noise in the background can you tell him to shut the fuck up yeah there's grown <laughs> folk talking <laughs> tell him there's yeah, grown that, folk business going on it needs to be quiet <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I like how he's typed down there. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, back back to the whole the whole wife or girlfriend, whatever it is, situation. Yeah, contact customer mistress. service. Uh, or yeah, yeah, mistress. You know, whatever's going on there. Um, contact customer service. You know, let them know the whole situation, and hopefully they'll be able to work that out for you. Sir, sir, do you do you necessarily find the job that you have a skill? Like, do do you do you find that you will be it will be beneficial to you in the long run and being able to you know supply a career for you, or is this just like a gig that you're doing just for now? Well, let hey, me ask you: Are, are you on the clock you? right now? Cause oh I, yeah, I, you I, are. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. He's on the clock wait, right wait, now. He's what giving what life advice. Do you want me to answer? He's giving life advice. He's on the clock right now. So yeah, go ahead. Okay, about your career and question? how it's. Oh, oh yeah, 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 about yeah. your let career me, and how it's a, a, a pox on humanity. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let me ask you guys: When you work, what are you motivated by? Not I'll getting fired. It's, it's, it's money, right? Of course, I wouldn't go to my job if Math. it didn't pay money. There we go, baby. That's the answer. Well, it's drugs, right? Drugs. Weed. The weed gets me through the shift. That's why. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. You think well, I like it's going nice to work? To you both. Um, you guys have a good rest of your night. You. Ha- Hello. Thank you for calling Casper. Come on in. This is Kathleen. How may I help you? Hi. How are you doing tonight? Good. Oh, good. I was wondering if you have any uh, vacancies. For what day? For tonight. Yeah. For four I people. Ha- so I'm all sold out of my two queens, but I do have a king living room suite for 189 plus tax. It's a oh, king size bed and a queen size pull out couch. Oh, boy. Is there any room for another queen? Um, no, we don't have any other rooms with two queens. Well, I'm bringing one. Sorry? I'm bringing one. <laughs> it's me. Hello, thank you for calling the Casper Court Urban Marriott. This is Christian. How may I assist you? Hi, Christian. How are you doing? I thought you were uh, taken away. Not yet. Oh, I heard you were uh, doing naughty things with your mother. Sorry, who is this? This is Frankie. How you doing, honey? Please don't call again. I'm gonna call again. Thank you for calling Daisy Casper. My name is Melissa. I hope I can help you. Melissa? Yes? Oh, hi. Do you have any vacancies? Yes, I do. Oh, good. I'm here with my family. We're in the station wagon. Okay. I'm still driving this piece of shit that my parents gave me when I was 18. 
we took all of our vacations in it and my dad he he did things in the back seat my kids yeah. are sitting back there though so listen I need to make a room booking for uh, do you have enough space for eight people um, all I have is going to be double queen beds right now how many double queens do you have uh, availability for tonight I still have 11 rooms left okay perfect so 11 that's two people yeah we got 22 people in the station wagon here we're all scrunched in here okay yeah if you just want to come in I can get yeah. you set up with rooms I procreated with multiple women and I'm taking all the kids with them on this this holiday yeah if you just want to come in I'll get your reservation set up okay Oh, I, I'd like to do it over the phone before I get there because some people have a problem with our lifestyle. Nope, you can. If, I, I, I mean, if you're just right outside, you can just walk in. Oh, well, that's the thing. I don't. We, we're all in wheelchairs. We I don't have walk. anything on the first floor. Everything's going to be on the second floor. Oh God! You see, kids, I knew this would happen. So it always happens. Well, they're all being shy dicks for some reason. I don't know. Okay, well, I, we're going to roll on in. Okay, not a problem. All right. Roll on in and roll on out. All right. This Mike, may I help you? Oh, Mike. Yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, honey. Oh, no, you take the phone. I have to urinate really badly. I'm going to pee in the car I, over here. Okay. Sounds good. We we wanted to get a room. Here's a cat. Jello. 7-Eleven. Hi, you have Jello package? Uh, Jello package? No, we don't. Ah, oh, shit. You got gelatin? Gelatin? Pop. I don't think we have any of those. Ah, uh, you got glycerin? Glycerine? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, <laughs> we possibly have some of that. Oh, wow. How's it going tonight? It's going good. Just got here. Raining. Okay, well, you have a safe night, okay? All right, you too. All right, thanks. You're welcome. I love you. Say it back or it's weird. No. Oh. Ringy dingy's on. So every time they join or, or leave, it. What's your six on join. me? Hello? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Let me put my family on. Let me put my, my family on. I have to drive the car. Yeah, what's your Hello? 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 Hi, wait. So you're the hotel, right? Right. Motor six. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're up in the room, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I I tried to take apart the microwave and put it back together, and I have a few extra screws. Should I bring them down Trust to the me, front Daddy desk? Harder. No, 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 sir. Uh, what happened oh, no. to the microwave? Should I just bring the whole microwave? Working. Is it not working? Yeah, like, um, you know, I, I jammed the screwdriver in the safety hole, and I I started microwaving like it for ten minutes. And now it's like, there's like a rip in the space-time continuum in my room. And it's, it's starting to look really weird in here. Should, can, I, can I bring this microwave down to you? No, sir. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't need to bring it down. Tomorrow the maintenance guy will come and have a look. Is, is there anything okay, serious? okay. Is there anything serious about well, it? While we're on this, while we're on this topic, uh, this microwave was not able to float in the bathtub. Uh, Float in the bathtub? I, I got some bad information. Yeah, I got some bad information that said that microwaves can uh, can be used in the bathtub and that they float. And this is did that, that? just did obviously you, is not you, the case. No, did you put the microwave in the tub? Yeah, yeah. I, I plugged the safety hole, though, so, like, nothing happened, you know. But, yeah, it's... This microwave was not able to float in the bathtub, and that that was like a fake prank video or something that... 
so you should be trying that at your ho- house not in your uh, in a hotel well i saw it on tiktok you know and like y- y- y'all have the microwave here you so you know just put you know, two and two you can't do that with our stuff right so so should i just bring should i just bring the uh, the the microwave down like you know and i'll i'll sl- i'll slip you like 50 bucks and we'll just never speak of this again Oh, uh, just hold the line. Just speak here. Hundred dollars, hundred, hundred bucks, and you just forget if we ever talked. Just a minute. Uh, what's your room number? You said. Uh, Hello? I'm I'm in the bathroom right now. I I I need to ask my dad. Dad, what's the room number? Two fifteen. Uh, just a moment. I'm gonna give this lady an aneurysm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who is this? Hi. What's uh, your name? I'm, my name is Rocky. My name's Rocky. Uh, I'm, I'm the son of hmm. two fifteen. Two fifteen. Here, let me put my dad on. He can. He can. He can explain this to you. Dad. Hello. Yeah. Hello. My name is Sanjay. Hello. Oh, you are from which room number? Uh, two fifteen. My friend. Okay, what's the what's the issue? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two one five. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Two one five. Yeah. That is Hello. on the Christian. That is on the Christian name, right? Yeah. 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 That's yeah, my what happened? Name. What is your What is your problem? What is my your problem? My problem is that this. Yeah, that's the problem. I will, I will, you see, I will not, a, not allow, yeah. I will not allow you to make all these problems, okay? I will now only, what if you problem? want. What problem? Look, haram jari kutta. I didn't say anything. Uh, uh, you are a dog. You are kutta. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. You are sur kavaicha sura la la la, you know? You, you, Sushra. you are not allowed in our property. You are not allowed in our property. You have what? to. If Why? you want, I will check out now only to you. You are not allowed in our no, property. No, you are, you are really. Don't kick this out, please. please no, please. I will call police. No, I will no. call police. You are talking no, you're all right. rubbish. You're right. You're right. No, I you're will right. call you're police right. now and you are not allowed in our property. No, you're right. No, you're I will, right. No. I am son. I am son of a hundred father. I don't deserve to stay there. You're right. Look, don't kick my daddy out, please. Please. How many father do you have? Who, who's 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 speaking? I said this it's, is Sanjay. No, who's keeping that? Don't kick my father. Who's 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 she? Oh, that's the big bodmash. That's no, my bastard no. child. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't kick my daddy out. I'm sorry. Please, please don't kick us out. Yeah, she's. I don't know. Thank you for so have your other today. senses. Hello, we're, Hello? we're discussing our senses in the room. Because uh-huh. we smell something weird, like it smells like burned hair. Well, we checked the bathroom toaster, and it can't, you know, you know, it has a really short cord in there. We can't, like, we were trying to plug it in the bathroom and then drag it out into the mm-hmm. room, but it kept getting unplugged. And then we discovered that that there was there was a there was some stuff in the vents. A man walked by and he said that he worked for you guys and he said, don't put your fingers in the vents, it'll eat you. Do you know what he was talking about? Um, I'm not sure. Like what he said his name was Bob and he was the magma lord of the of the land. He said he liked to play with the magma in the boiler room. I'm not you know sure what. Him? Th- no. Because he said, "Don't put your hands in the vents, because then it'll come out and eat you." Like I thought he meant the fan, like inside. But he said, "No, no, no. There's a there's an animal inside there, and he's gonna come out and jump out if we, you know, try and put our fingers inside there." And um, who is this? Well, I'm I'm your customer. What and yeah, what's the name? N A. M E 
Wingate by Wyndham, may I help you? Yeah, um, I was wanting to book a room if you guys have any available right now. Sure. Is it for today, for tonight? It would be for tonight, yeah. Um, my husband and I are going to be arriving kind of probably around like 1230. Okay, let's start your reservation. Is it just okay. for one night? I really appreciate that. This is kind of a last minute thing. Um, yeah, it's just going to well, hopefully one night, but is there the option to extend it? Yeah, of course. You, yeah, you can. Okay, cool. And Sounds so good. So two adults? Yeah, I'm actually... Yeah, yeah. We're going to be going to um, some adult like therapy classes that are in the city center because we live in kind of a rural area and it's not available there. Um, yeah, it's, Do you it's want been a, a two queen bed a, or a single king? Just a, sing, a single king would be great. Um, I was actually, I was in Cub Scouts when I was younger. Have, have you heard of Cub Scouts? Yeah. Yeah, and I went on the scout trip. It was in seventh grade, um, and our scout leader, he actually gave us beer. Like, I had beer for the first time, and I ended up getting really drunk. And he invited um, me and my fellow scoutmate, like, into his tent, and um, he, like, spent, I think it was, like, 16 hours molesting us in the woods. Why are you telling um, me this? Are you making a reservation? I just, yeah, I just, it's something I need to get off my chest, and, yeah, well, maybe like, you should call someone. I just like, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> a weird way. Welcome to Holiday Inn Express. This is Jeff. How can I help you? Hi, Jeff. Yep. Let me put my husband on. Husband, get on the phone. What'd you say? Let me get my husband on the phone. Oh, all right. What's your husband's name? Well, he's here Hello. with me. There he is. Hey. Hello. How's it going, sweetie? Uh, Thanks for calling the Buchanan Church Day Plus. This is Clarissa. How may I help you? Did you say Clarissa? Hello? Yes. Hello? Can you explain Hello? everything to me? Explain everything to you. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Well, I was hoping you might explain it all, since you're Clarissa. Yeah. No, I can't explain it all just because my name is Clarissa. Okay. Can you tell me about the uh, the services you offer instead? No. Wait, but that's why I'm calling for real. Like, I, I would like to take advantage of the services there. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, so I called because, um, my wife is, like, uh, 28 weeks pregnant, and, um, like, the doctor said, bed rest, bed rest, because she's, a uh, got, like, a high-risk pregnancy, and, um, I don't know if you've been outside, but it was a little bit icy earlier, I, we had kind of, like, a little bit of rain, and my car slid, and we actually ended up sliding into the median, um, but it, I mean, the car's fine except for the tire. So I had to go out and change the tire. And while I was changing the tire, my wife actually got out of the car cause she wanted to help. But I'm like, no, get back in. You're on, you know, bed rest cause you're pregnant. And she's like, no, I'm fine. And this car freaking sideswiped our parked car while I was changing the tire and clipped her and drove off. And she's fine. I mean, it just knocked her down. Um, but when we got to the hotel, she's like, I don't feel right. You know, something's, something's off. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I, I told her when it happened, like, we should go to the doctor. She's like, no, no, we're fine. I don't want to do doctors anymore. So I'm like, you're pregnant. I think we should get this checked out. She's like, no. So we go to the hotel room and she's like, I, I think I might, you know, be bleeding down there. And I'm like, oh my God, what is going on now? So she goes to the bathroom um, and it turns out she, she's having a miscarriage. Um, and because she's so far along, it's actually clogged the toilet. So I was wondering if you guys have a plumber or, or a plunger that I could borrow. 
What hotel are you at? Uh, it's got some weird name. It's like a countryish name, like the okay. something field something. Na 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 na. Goodbye. Na, na, have na, a nice na, night. Her brother's here with us. He, he's in the hotel room. He's catching the baby part as they come. Uh, she gone. Disturbing. That, that's what we watched together. Wingate Buchanan. How are you? Isn't that the same place? He was just way more interesting to me, the character. Start out with a normal voice. Hello? Hi. Ah. Great. Oh. Great mental hospital. Do you have any free rooms? Hampton and Weston, how may I assist you? Hi, is this the state mental hospital? It is not. Oh. I was looking for a room. Okay, this is the Hampton Inn. Oh, do you do you take care of crazy people there because I need help? <clears throat> no, we do not, sir. What if I have OCD? Will you provide excess soap so that I can wash my hands repeatedly during my stay? Don't fucking call here again, jackass. <laughs> Probably the same fucker. What? That same fucker's on the phone. Super 8. Hello? Huh? Hey there. Hey. Hey, my friend, um, he tried calling there and you hung up on him. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? Did your... His yeah, language. did your mom ever teach you any manners? Well, no, oh. but uh, if you like to, you come on in and I'll, we'll talk about it. Oh, are you are you going to give me some... Uh... Well, my friend, this is Cassidy. Can I help you? Hi, how many abortions have you had? Excuse you? Yeah, beef abortions. Hello. Hello. Hello, is this the hotel? I told you you shouldn't ask her about the abortions. Listen, it, it's just my way, okay? Yeah, I like to I, yeah. establish who the person is, the character. I told you it, it doesn't sounded like she had a lot. Angry. Do you, you know have the a way of curiosity, but that's cool. I, I don't know. I tell her mine. She told me her. He's a statistician. He's taking statistics. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna say six. She sounded like she had six. Do you, you think that's about six right? in one year? Is that eight months? Yeah, probably close to that. Uh, you gotta break it up. What her cervix? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Even, uh, you can't get it out of the baby, year. Yeah. That's impossible. It doesn't work that way. You, you can't get it out intact. You have to break it up. Uh, it's like breaking eggs, huh? Thank you. Ma'am, are but you there? But the bones there? are soft. Yeah, we're, we're thinking of uh, trying a new alternative uh, abortion therapy. It's where we play, we put uh, modern music next to the womb and the baby decides that it's not worth being born, they're gonna maybe wait until there's better music. Have you heard of that? Well, they composed that one song specifically for inducing an abortion. I think it's called Matthew Four. Oh it no, it's like brown note. The brown note. Oh okay. Hmm. Up by Wyndham, sir. Speaking. How may I help you? Hi. How many abortions have you had? Me? Uh, none. Wow. How many of you had? That's amazing. How many 17. Of you had? 17. Really? 
17. Yeah. You'd think you'd figure out how that happens before you have to pay all that money for abortions, you know? Money? Oh, you no, just I bring, them, I bring them to your hotel. And you we bring take them to my hotel. Oh, do they yeah. take care of it here? Yeah. What are we doing? We have a vacuum I didn't cleaner. Know we, I didn't know yeah. we provided that service. What are we doing? I don't know if you do, but I do. Well, I don't do that kind of stuff, no. Uh, yeah, I just. That's uh, some good toilets there. Good stuff. flushing power, you know? Yeah, well, I get it. I get it. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, I appreciate the call, but I gotta wash my hair and stuff, so uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, wash that hair, boy. All right, see ya. Yeah. Mm. You want me to do my dog and I'm sorry, could you, you take the phone out of your asshole? Hello? Sorry, I've had a lot to drink. I'll give you over to my brother. Hi. Sir, are you there? Who? Hello? Yes, yeah. are you there? Hello, I'd like to book a room. Yeah, I'm um, here. My sister and I... Yes, my sister and I are trying to book a room so we can uh, go have sex without our parents knowing. So you want... I, I want to book a hotel room for my sister and I so we can have sex without my parents knowing. I'm not getting what you're saying. They get real mad. They they get really mad when we play Christmas games at home. One time they caught me with my cat number Wang hanging out. Camden and Mary, this is Patrick. How may I help you? Hi, Patrick. This is SpongeBob. What can I do for you? <laughs> oh my gosh! I've never <laughs> heard that you? before. That's disturbing. Oh yeah. Hello. Dad oh, was yeah. just teaching me some sayings, you know, you know, good saying. <laughs> From the crew that says incest is best. Hello? Yeah, I would like to book a room place. Yeah, could you got any rooms available tonight? Me and my family are traveling through here, and we'd like to find out if you got any rooms available. <laughs> Maybe threats are the last Thank you for calling Burger Yeah. East Holiday Inn Express. How can I help you? Hi, do you have any rooms for incest? Do we have any room for incest? Oh, yeah. Um, it depends on how many beds you need. I just need one bed for my, me. Just one bed for you? Yeah, it's just me. Okay. Just king. Well, so just a king? One incest, one bed, two people. Well, you, I thought you said it was just for you. Yeah, me. We don't have any double beds, so you're going to have to do the incest. You're going to have to do the incest in the king bed. Well, that's fine. I'll pay extra. I'm sorry. Let me put my sister on the phone. Well, you and your sister, if you're, I mean, if if you're sleeping together, anyways, then you can sleep in the same bed. We don't have any double queens. I'm sorry. Well, that, but if I you didn't would ask like for a devil queen. I asked for one bed. Oh, you just want one bed? Okay. Yeah. That is for, okay. Yeah, I can set you up for one bed. for It's 324 a night for tonight because we're almost overbooked. Would you like me to make you a reservation? One bed, yeah. One bed. Uh, reservation. Let me put my sister on because I, I deal with the, the tire iron and the, the wheels broke it off. Oh no! Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. So you're going to be able to promise us a comfortable bed? I'm sorry. Just trying to. Just you're going to be. Who's that in the background? How many people are we talking to? You're. Uh, I'm working. But I hear someone like squawking, like they're they're giving you answers. And you're from uh, cause I'm because I'm newer here and I have somebody helping me out. 
Like a like a bird on your shoulder. Actually, I do. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know I had a bird? My okay. my my support okay. animal with I me. Could, I, could, I could smell it. Oh, smell, uh, the bird, the bird, the bird poo poo has a has a smell. Oh yeah, it's my, that's my support animal. Ah! You kind of sound oh, like oh, a bird oh. walking yourself, and you're human. That's that's kind of funny. Yeah. Okay, My so would you like to make, you, make you a reservation for a king bed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What kind of sheets? What kind of sheets do you have? The wool. Wool. Yeah. From sheep? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I'm not, a, I, I'm not I sure. Like, I sound like a bird because all the incest wrecked havoc on your voice. Yeah, kind of like when so you want to talk to in Philadelphia. You want to talk to one of my cousins? No, that's okay. I just need to know how many. If I'm just booking you a room, and I'll go ahead and do that. It's 324 a night. What's your support bird's name? My support name is Pe- Peacock. Peacock? Yeah, and I call is him Petey. Peacock? He's a peacock? Yes, he's a peacock. It's kind of ironic. Oh, right. my God. You should, have called, you, should have, you should have named him Drew. Oh, no. I, I thought it was more funny because you pee with your cock. But then if his name is Drew, then it's Drew Peacock. Like Drew Peacock. Oh, is that what kind your brother has? Yeah. That's awesome. It touches the ground. Yeah, it touches the ground. And sometimes it goes... Oh. I, I can't wait to see you guys how many arms and legs you have. Oh, literally as a bird. Travelodge. Travelodge. Hi. Hello. Hello. Well, Hello. Gonna... Hi. How many abortions have you had? No, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> In like Thank a third. Calling Town Place Suites by Marriott. This is Kendall. How can I help you? Hi, Kendall. How are you doing? Good. What can I do for you? How many abortions have you had? Town Play Suites by Marriott. This is Kenda. How can I help you? Hi. Um. Yeah. I was wondering. Um. Do you guys have any vacancies? We do. Okay. Um. What about a room for two? Like a single bed? We do. Our room rate for the night is okay. one fifty plus tax. Okay, do you, are you a multi-story? We are. What's the highest floor like that you guys have? Uh, fifth floor. Okay, is there anything on the fifth? Um, I don't know. It would just depend on availability. I'm not able to look that up without making a reservation. Gotcha. Okay, let me check with my um, husband real quick and see. Um, oh, you want? Yeah, I can ask you. Um, I was wondering, how many pregnancies have you terminated? Sir, you do realize we have caller ID. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me how many abortions you've had. It just lists my phone number. I've had 12. 12? Were they all at the same time? (laughs) Absolutely. Wow, did you do them at home or did you go in somewhere? Actually, I did them under the bridge. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, did you just, like, go into the middle of, like, the water and let, like, random okay, logs slam you in the... I board, but I'm running on it right now, so I actually do have a okay. job to do. This is, like, not a catastrophe, okay? Just okay. I'm just asking, you know? Great. Can you like, call someone else and bother so what them? What was it like? No, I was just no. curious. Can you tell me more about it? Were your parents disappointed? Are we going to answer... Do I have to change areas? Days on the suites, how can I help you? Hi. 
How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Do you think you could just move over to the left a little bit so I can see you? Could you move over to the right a little bit? Ah, yeah, that's nice. Michael, how can I help you? Hi, Hello? Michael. Yeah. Hi. Um, are you, is there any vacancies? Yeah, uh, let me double check. We should have uh, plenty of rooms. Is there a certain type of room you're looking for? Um, no. So I mean, something first floor would be nice, but not like super necessary. Basically, whatever you have is uh, in work. As far as rooms, we don't have anything on the first floor, but we have uh, plenty of queens, and we do have a king room, and then uh, okay. suites and stuff. Yeah. Um, no, I mean that that would work. What is what is your guys's like health policy? Like, do you have any restrictions in place or anything like that? Uh, we have a no smoking, no vaping policy, and then we have no animals. Okay, uh, but nothing about like um, like herpes or like cold sores or anything? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I, I kind of lost my train of thought. Sorry. Um, let me get my husband real quick. Honey? Honey? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we're on three-way here. I'm on my cell phone. Uh, yeah, I was asking you about the cold sore thing. Like, I was asking about the cold oh, sore policy. You said that you didn't think there was one. The abortion? Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any. No, no, no. Like, if there, you know, if the cold sores would be an issue. Yeah, I, the abortion I mean... Treat. The what? But, okay, let me tell them what we're planning on doing. Well, we actually run a nonprofit, um, and we're connected to different high schools across the, the country, um, and we outsource uh, safe and um, basically inviting environments for girls that are going through a, a difficult time. Uh, and we travel town to town and perform, like, abortions in different hotel rooms. And okay. so we were just wanting to put that the hotel so hopefully we can you know do do our work yeah, i mean there. i don't know the uh, i don't you, know the federal thing on that but as far as like as long as you guys are quiet oh no this no is under the table here, yeah this is there, there might be some girls like wandering the hall after the procedure um bleeding from like their crotches uh but we try for the most part to get them to get like an uber or something so they don't have to walk home but some of them are homeless 
So they might, you yeah, know, just kind of like hang like out in the lobby. Or Having like tie their shirt and jacket up under them. That would be, I don't think it'd matter. You guys have like extra towels or something there that we could maybe give yeah, to them? Yeah, but I mean, if you're um, because well, they could they could be washed. Uh, usually, the the abortions that we perform are you know before like the second trimester, so there's usually not a lot of like solids that come out. It's mostly just like fluid and a little bit of blood. Um, but like, yeah, extra towels would be great. And like, you guys have like a sharps container, like for for needles, things like that. We don't have any sharks. Sharps, like for needles, like a plastic pin. Oh, I mean, there's trash cans in the room. Okay. Well, we'll just toss them in there. That's fine. But you might want to let, like, I don't know, maybe I'll leave, like, a note for the housekeeper, like, not to get poked or something, you know, if she goes in there. Um, okay. Do, do, do you know anyone that, you know, I guess just on a side note, like, wants, that wants to terminate a pregnancy? Because we uh, do this all, no, I, you know, pro bono. You say no boners? No, no, no. Pro bono. We do it for free. Um, actually, in exchange, the fetal tissues that we collect um, are sold to medical research companies. So that's kind of the way that we're able to fund going to different cities and things like that. Mm-hmm. So if you know anyone that's in need of, you know, reproductive Healthcare. You know, Do I get a commission we're, we're or something? I mean, I, don't... I mean, you wouldn't a get a commission. We would let you, if you'd like, you could retain some of the tissues for your own use. Um, okay, but we don't actually provide any sort of like. Of course, we do stream them on the internet. Do you have Twitch? No, I don't. Twitch has messed up the uh, their uh, membership stuff with how much the the. Uh, producers actually make. I don't, I don't, I don't go for that anymore. Okay. Well, I mean, we also have YouTube and we have a website as well. So, I mean, any one of those. Are you guys on Rumble? Mumble? Rumble. Rumble. Uh, I'm not familiar with Rumble. It's where we have uh, a grinder. I don't know. The... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Nothing and, like uh, that. He will do it. Yeah, no, I'm not familiar with that. Um, I can ask one of the other um, positions here. Um, Alaska? Have you heard of that? Oh, yeah, the hot tub what? streams, yeah. I like those hot tub streams the most, you know. Hey, I got to get off. Someone's calling. Yeah, we're calling. Yeah, we're calling. Hey. Nope. Uh, what good what good evening. Thanks for calling the Fairfield by Marriott in Cambridge, Ohio. This is Shauna. How can I help you? I've told you I don't want to talk about abortions anymore. Huh? Uh, sorry. Um, my my daughter is going through kind of a rough time. We're going to be coming in to book a room here. Uh, do you guys have vacancies? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. No, yeah, we're sorry, going in from out of town. She's having a... Sorry, what? Did you want me to uh, make the reservation now? Or are you just Yeah, going sorry. It's a little hard to hear you. No, 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 we were wanting to make a reservation. Uh, there's some sparkies going on the line right now, though. It's really kind of this buzzing. But anyway, yeah, my uh, daughter's going to be having a medical procedure done, and she's just having a hard time with it right now. Um, I don't know. Her mom and I don't get along, and I've tried to, I've tried to talk to her about this, like, as an adult. But she's a teenager, and, you know, I don't know. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have two. Like, I don't know if your kids, uh, are any of them teenagers? They're grown. Okay, well, then you know what I'm talking about. I feel like they hit, like, 14, 15, and just, they go crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. And my my daughter, I mean, sorry, probably oversharing, but she's um, in a family way. And... We're going to, um, you know, I talked to her mother about it and we're going to go to the doctor and, you know, to discuss her options. And she's just, 
freaking out. I mean, I told her, we drove all this way. You know, they don't do this in the town that we're from. Like, we're, we're making this trip especially for her. And like, honey, come here. Come here. No. Just take the phone. Just here. Can you talk some sense in her? Okay, Ma'am? I'm not... I'm not going to talk to her about you're, this. You're you 15. Serious? You're 15. You cannot raise a child. I don't want to. That's can why I'm getting an abortion. Can you tell her? You're a mother. You've oh. raised two, two, two children successfully. She's 15 years old. She's not ready to be a mother. Can you, can you please talk some sense into her? I'm sorry. This is really none of my business. Yeah, it's not, and it's not his business either. And uh, No, I, it is my business. I'm your father. This child will be my responsibility too, and I'm telling you, you don't know how much it costs. You don't have insurance. You haven't graduated high school. I mean, there are compelling reasons not to continue with this pregnancy. And I told you, I never liked that kid. Like, I told you he was bad news, and look what, look what happened now. I'm going to get a liberal arts degree. I'm going places. N- yeah, so I'm going to be supporting you until you're 40, is what you're telling me. No, that's why I need to get an abortion. Okay. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm telling you. you. You should be terminating this pregnancy. I mean, am I wrong? Is, is, am I way off base here? Did you want me to go ahead and book your room for you? Yeah, let's do Yeah. That. Yeah, for sure. What type of room are you needing? Um, Sharp. Yeah, something. Do you guys have extra towels or anything there? Have what? I'm sorry. There's, there's supposed to be a lot of like bleeding involved in this. Is there? Do you guys have extra towels or anything there? Yes, we have extra towels. Perfect. Okay. Totally I just. Better. That can we request that as part of the room? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I it, said, can can we request the extra towels as part of the room? Yes, yes, they can. This baby, this baby yeah. is toast. It's toast. It's finito. It's going to be, no matter what she says now, it's going to be gone. So we're going to need some towels in the room, extra towels. Okay. Are you wanting a double queen or? Uh, yeah, I don't want to share a bed with her after this. I don't think that would be appropriate. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any discounts? Triple A or anything like that? Um, Do you guys have military discounts? We do. Okay. One second, please. Yeah, I think we're going to need another bed for the carcass. What is the water pressure like there? Is there what? What is the water pressure like there? The water pressure is good. Yeah, like, okay. So, like, flushing is not a problem? Nope. Okay. The reason I ask is that they said over the next couple of days there's going to be some passing of waste, if you know what I mean. Okay. Hmm. And it, I guess it's like, I I don't know. They just said, you know, it can clog the toilet is what they told me. Show, but... Thank you, Best Western. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? Good deal. Good. Uh... I have a weird question. Please don't take offense to it. I'm I'm just doing a report for my school project. And it's just asking places and people, how many abortions have you had? Yeah, I don't think that's appropriate to ask people. It's for health class. Yeah, I'm not on that. Sorry. I'm in I- special ed. Oh. Thank you for calling the Bay Modern. This is Erica speaking. How may I help you? Hi, I'm doing I'm doing a phone interview for my middle school health class, and I I was just calling people and asking them some questions. And since you're a hotel, um, 
I was curious about your amenities. Uh, what, what, how many, how many abortions can you flush in your toilet at that location? You can cut it with a butter knife if you know what I mean. Help you. Oh yeah. Hi. Can we cut things with butter knives in the room? Could you repeat that, please? We have a package of plastic butter knives. Is it okay if we cut things in the room with that? Like, where do I put it after it's been used? Is there a sharps container in the room? There should be a garbage can. If it's plastic, you should throw it in the trash. It's very sharp plastic. It's a knife. You know, it cuts things. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So shouldn't that go in the sharp container? No, I mean, if it's, if it's, if it's a plastic knife from here? No, we brought it. We make our own. We melt down plastic. We use our 3D printer. And it, it prints it prints these knives that we designed. And we sell them on Etsy. And we like to use oh, well, them. It, we like to do, you know, a photo shoot in the room. And we cut bread. And we cut meat. Uh, uh-huh. And then we use the, the toaster if you have one, or a microwave to cook the meat, and then we take photos of the meat and the juices, and I understand. and then we cut it um, with our knives, and then we sell them on Etsy, and we do the videos in the hotels, and then my wife she gets on all fours, and we we take pictures, and she have a good night. You know, on Instagram. Hello. Sure, Valley Hotel. This is Nadine. How can I help you? Nadine. Hello. Hi. What, what Hi. Is, what is your guys' uh, policy for um, rooms for minors? Uh, you have to be 18 years old to get a room here. Okay, but could I rent uh, a room on behalf of a minor and they stay there, or do I need to accompany them? Um. I think they need to be accompanied by somebody. Um, I can call. I can call somebody okay. right now and find out, and then I can call you right yeah, back. I mean, it's it's fine. I can I can accompany them. It's just going to be a little awkward. Um, my son and his uh, boyfriend are actually going to prom, and okay. uh, they were wanting to rent uh, a hotel room for after you know after prom, mm-hmm. and you know I told them, yeah, let me set you up with that, but. Um, if an adult has to be there, I can go. It's just it's gonna be kind of weird, you know. Cause I I'm pretty sure that you know you you know why they were renting the room. Yeah, I can but make like, a call to see if you have to be here or not. I mean, I I'll, I'll call I'll you back. Be there just in case. Just, well, just in case he has any questions about like you know like guy stuff like before, you know. All right, well, I'm, if you need any help um, booking your room, you can yeah, I, I always wanna, call us. I want to book the room for sure. I want to book okay, the room you want to book sure. with me? I mean, you yeah, book if, the room. If that's possible. It, yeah, because, I mean, they're really looking forward to this. He's been talking about it since, like, September, so, you know, they're, they, they're very affectionate. Kind and then of, you're going to be I mean, here. You're going to really be here with your. Me. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're going to be here with your credit to. card that you. <laughs> um, yeah. You'll be here with the credit card that you give me. So that's the only other thing. So you'll be here. So it doesn't matter. Usually we do a credit card authorization form if you're not going to be here physically with the card. But if you're going to be here, then um, when would you like to check in? Uh, it's May. Let me see. Let me pull up my calendar. It's a Friday in May. I have it marked. Uh, May the fifth, I believe. And then checking out on the sixth. Yes. Do you guys have um, condoms there? We don't. Like the hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have those. I mean, it's their first. Their first time, so I don't know if they really. I mean, he can't get pregnant, of course, but like you know, just to be safe, like I thought. Probably, I don't know a lot about this stuff. Yeah, I can't say that I do but, either. Sorry, I'm a female, so. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Like the first time, like they like kissed at dinner. Like, I mean, I don't have any problem with people. You know, I want everyone to be happy, and I love my son. You know, more than life itself. And I've always, you know, considered myself an open-minded person. But it's just, you know, when he was born, it's not. It's not what I. I don't know. Maybe I should have had a more open mind, but like I've come to, you know, under, a greater understanding, I'd say, through this whole process. And I think mm-hmm. being in the hotel room with them, you know, the first time, you know, that, that they're like intimate, like will really help me to understand like where they're coming from, you know. And hopefully like as his dad, you know, I can help him through that process. And, you know, if he gets scared, I can be there. To cheer him on, you know. Mm-hmm. And if he has any questions about anything, I could be there to answer those. And you know, like sometimes it's nice just to know that there's a friendly face because I'm sure he's going to be nervous, you know. Mm-hmm. So if he's like, you know, dad, like, how do I? You know, like, if he, if we, yeah, I'm not really sure about all that. But did you want to book your hotel room with me on the phone right now? Yeah, yeah, definitely, I do. Um, so you have your credit card with you that you want to put on file, right? Uh, yes. Let me grab my wallet. Um, let's see. Um, uh, 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 um. You guys take Visa? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's just the one night, right? Checking in on the 5th, checking out on the 6th? I mean, that's what my gut is telling me. I don't really know that they need, like, the room for the whole weekend. Um, I, I want to give them time to, like, you know, like, cuddle, like, spend time together. And it's just... Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 yes, let's do, let's do two nights. Let's just be safe. And, you know, like after that first night, if things go well and, you know, they want to spend another night there, that's totally cool, you know? Okay, so check but out on the just, 7th now. <laughs> yeah, I hope if they do have questions, they'll feel comfortable coming to me, you know, as a man. Like, I, of course, haven't had an experience like that, you know, with an, another person of the same, you know, gender identity, but I think there's some universal experiences that, you know, transcend that, and hopefully I can answer questions for them. I mean, like the condom thing, like, those are the same, whether I imagine, like, it's a man or a woman, you know, if they have, like, biology questions, like, he's like, Dad, I'm worried about getting pregnant, you know, like, I can reassure him and, you know, just tell him, like, you're not going to get pregnant, it's fine. You know, what you're feeling is normal. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, like, don't, don't stress. It's normal to be nervous. Like, rub his back, you know, maybe if they, you know, want, like, hot chocolate or something. I don't know. I don't know how you set the mood, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's, like, coconut oil, I've heard. Like, I Googled this a little bit, but, um, like, do you know what VCR cleaner is? No. I guess it's something that they smell, and, like, you know, like, when you light candles, when you're doing, like, a romantic evening with your significant other, it's kind of like that. Um, I guess the smell's, like, really nice, and, like, it helps, you know, set the mood and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of scattered all over the place. But, yeah, if you guys take Visa, I got a, a Visa card. But do you guys have, like, a sheet, like, if there are stains or anything like that, do you guys charge for that? No. Okay, because, like, I don't know... Unless it's something um, like makeup or dye or something that you can't get out. Well, he wears eyeshadow sometimes, but I was thinking more, like, if there's, like, blood or, like, 
poop on the sheets or anything like that. Not like he's going to poop the bed, but like, you know, because he, they're being, you know, like intimate. Can I put you on hold for just a second? Yeah, that's fine. Button. Sorry about that. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Yeah, or I think we got disconnected. Yeah, sorry. I was on the other line with the travel agency. Oh, I see. I got you. Um, Alaska? Huh? Are you? I'm sorry? Hello? Hello? Sorry, my, my son's over here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to book your hotel room. I know oh, you had some questions about you had some questions about it. Yeah. This is the nice lady that's gonna help us. Okay. Hi. Hi. So I have some questions guess, about the room. Yeah, of course. Uh, first off, they, I do have to stay there with you guys, just FYI. But go ahead. Okay. Uh, is there a toaster? We don't have a toaster. We have a microwave in the lobby. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. In the, oh, it's in the lobby. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, is there a tarp provided? A tarp? Yeah. No. Oh. Dad, you said there'd be a tarp so we can do the dirty thing. Dad? N- no. Uh, I think he means like a... You guys have like um, rubber sheets or anything like that. I mean, we've we've been reading about this online, and apparently there can be like a lot of um, there could be like a fluid discharge. So there, if there's like a barrier that we could put. No, we don't have any rubber sheets. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, like I I told them like. You know, if he's anything like his dad, um, you know, we can, I, I, I've been, my wife has told me I'm a very passionate, you know, lover. Like I'm, I'm very, I make passionate love basically. And, you know, that can cause injury because of the way that they are being intimate. Um, sorry, son, I'm getting sidetracked. You go ahead. Oh, do you have cereal breakfast? Um, what, what, uh, that was Saturday, Saturday morning we have breakfast. Yeah, we do have cereal. Oh, good. Okay. Can we get some, like, cause dad, I want to, you know, you want know, to show you on TikTok, you put it in there. I don't think that, um, for, think for the first milk time. In. I, no, but I, I think those are joke videos for the, for the first time. I don't think that you should do that. I don't think it's a good but, idea. Um, but James Charles did it. But he's probably more experienced. Like you could get like an infection. Can you what show if, me? I don't, um, what kind of cereal is it? I have no idea. I know there's a few different kinds, but I don't have any clue um, what they are. I know there's like four or five, kinds, so I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. Okay, but like any soft cereals, like oatmeal or anything like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, why they might have oatmeal, but as far as like, if you consider oatmeal a cereal, they may have oatmeal. <clears throat> okay, um, I don't know if that would. It, was that what they used on TikTok? Was that oatmeal? Fun. Um, can I put you on hold for uh, a second? Sorry. I guess so. Yeah, I think it was a whole bowl of fruit loops. Oh, the incidental cards. All right, I'm going to go. You don't have a piss bottle, dude? No, I'll be right back in like two minutes. I haven't Nashby taught you anything. No.
You know who loves pissing in bottles is Gozer. That looks pretty good, Nutella. For those who can't see, it's a guy in a bathtub that's it's full of cereal and he's spooning it from the tub into his mouth. It looks like Apple Jacks, kind of. You got to do that with lukewarm oatmeal. Yeah. Have you no, ever you tried that? And no, add a lot of raisins. Stop it. Raisins sound good. When raisins are the only good thing in the cereal, they become like the marshmallows. Did you get any snow? Yeah. No, we got it closed where I could see it, but we wouldn't have to drive too far, and I was working that day. Just quit working. (laughs) That'd be nice. She seems like this didn't face her at all. She's talking about Chipotle. She's getting turned on by all sides. <laughs> it's funny how, like, I was talking about how much my son's ass is going to get rammed. And she's just like... Uh, you nope, really not don't a have problem. anything to say to that? Not a problem. You have to ask me for my card. She's just listening at this point. <laughs> Dwight says the Al Pasco chicken is good. Chipotle restaurant. Two fifty-five. Oh, perfect. Room two one five is right next door. Here she comes. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> no, you're you're good. You're good. Son, just go ahead and ask the questions. We don't want to keep her all night. Well, I like to um, I like to get all crazy, you know. Okay. I got. I put a hat on. I, I put on a wizard cape. I'm just consi- concerned that people are going to see me and think I'm I'm like a little too crazy, you know? Are you? Do you like? I mean, well, nobody's going to judge you if you walk around dressed where, where whatever way you want to dress, as long as you're yeah, not I'm totally okay. clean. Yeah, totally covered. Like I wear a robe. I'm yeah, pants as long as underneath. you're not. Yeah, and some trousers. And I put the al pastor chicken on the salad bowl. Okay. And I put it on the bed, and I eat the salad. Ah, okay. Yeah, nobody's going to worry about whatever you're doing inside your own room. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not, son. Get over here and put your hand on this hot stove. Put your hand Dad, on the, I don't on want the stove. Put your hand on the stove now. I don't want... Ow! Okay, I don't know what's happening, so... I'm, I'm going to burn the gay out of you. Oh, no, no, it's... Gonna-